I am going to do a collective reading because that is what I am being guided to do. This is a very closing of karmic cycles time for a lot of us. And as soon as I said that, I'm pulling the, the wheel of the year, which is the divine timing. Um, you're juggling a lot right now. Thoughts, money, people, some of you. Right? Towers. Towers are coming. Trust these towers. These shocking events. Shocking. Unexpected. Won't see it coming. Um, past wounds, things that left you very uh, hurt and alone. Things are closing out. People from your past that you were in service to. You were in service to these people. They were. It was one-sided. It was hard. Moved very slow. You were always the one in service. These relationships are closing out. Let's pull it for the collective. Let's see what's going on with the collective, please. Can I get the strongest energy off of the collective? <clears throat> Boundaries, sore spot, queen of swords, boundaries, things we need to turn our back on. Um, it's not to say that it won't leave you a little sad, but it's definitely made you smarter and wiser. You um, are using, you're going to be forced to use discernment. You've learned a lot of lessons from this. Boundaries. Um, I think as a collective, that's what we're feeling right now. A little sadness. Minor depression. Mm -hmm. Boundaries in these relationships. Boundaries. These are unions that we are turning our back on, that we're cutting off. Or have been cut um, cut off from. Some of you might be reminiscing about prior relationships. These could be parental. You know, could be your sixth grade boyfriend. I don't know, but a lot of you are reminiscing. Like, how did I get here? You know? I think some of you are probably feeling sad. You don't feel, you know, you're not fitting in. <sighs> There's relationships here. Brand new cups of love. This is karmic cycles. Karma card. Okay. I think a lot of you thought this was the end all be all. This was the person that you were going to marry. This huge cup of love was presented to you. Ace of Cups. Extremely joy, joy lighthearted, content. You thought this was the Holy Grail. This was the one. This was the Holy Grail of love. But I'm seeing the karma. I'm seeing it. There's karma written right on the card. I don't make it up as I go. I just I don't make this shit up as I go. I'm telling you.
Can I get something on the two of cups, please? And I don't want you guys to feel alone that you're the only one going through this, that you're the only one suffering this. We all have our crosses to bear. Um, you, the, a lot of these cycles are old wounds. Some of this stuff is stuff that old family members left for you. That are no longer with us. You had to clean up a little bit of their stuff. Right? In the challenge position <clears throat> is my Nine of Cups, my single female here. She's abundant. And I say female, it's not gender specific. It could be a guy. It's just an energy, the Nine of Cups. It's just very satisfied being single, um, very abundant, satisfied in a in a relationship or out of a relationship either way but this is a challenge there's a lot of this past relationship that we're leaving it triggered you it you're it's a challenge putting this behind you it's a challenge you thought this was the end all be all i am seeing someone kicking rocks Beaten feet, kicking rocks. Get on before you get spit on. Person was childish. There's a lot of childish, triggered ass behavior here. This is the runner and the chaser. Someone that runs away from problems. This person doesn't have your back. They are childish. They gossip about you. This is a person that can never stay long. This this uh, union you just left, they thought you were a challenge because you were too independent. You were too mouthy. You were a challenge because you were too abundant. You challenged this person's success. You challenged them. This person doesn't like to be challenged. This person you were dealing with, they don't like to be challenged. You need to know your role and play it. This is out of sight, out of mind. When this person's not around, they're out hollering at other people. Lots of gossip about this person's adventures when they're not around you. And whoever the hell else they deal with, by the way. This is an attention whore. This is someone that's going, um, when they're not with you and they're doing other things, they want people to gossip about, uh, gossip about what they're doing. You're too much of a challenge for this person. You're too high maintenance for one. At the Nine of Cups, you're too high maintenance. You take too much of the spotlight. And it presents a challenge to this relationship because a relationship is supposed to be a union where both people share the spotlight, you see? Whoever you were dealing with, they didn't want to share the spotlight with you. You need to know your place. If you were doing better than this person, in their opinion, you were outshining them and they didn't like that. They don't like it that you have an opinion either. And if you can't deal with their rules then they leave 
And as soon as they leave you, honey, they go, they holler at other people. Probably before they get out of the driveway. And I would doubt seriously that you two even had to be in conflict for this to happen. This is just who this person is. They're childish, as I said. They're not emotionally mature. They don't have what it takes to be in this relationship. It's not just you. It's who this person is. It was a karmic relationship for you. It was supposed to trigger some boundaries in you. To get boundaries, honey, sometimes some of us have to learn the hard way. A lot of us, apparently. Can I get one on the Ace of Cups? Got to learn the hard way how to get some boundaries and some self-respect. And you have to learn when to uh, hold and when to fold. And um, this is the end of a karmic cycle. Yep. Justice on this uh, holy grail. Okay. Justice on the holy grail. That's the big man upstairs going, saying time out. Enough. Over. Justice on the holy grail. You're learning the truth about this Holy Grail connection that you thought was the end-all be-all. You're learning the truth about that. You've learned that you want, a fair, you want fairness and love. This showed you what love wasn't. You want fairness. You want equal give and take. You want friendship. You want a life partner. You want someone who has staying power. This person doesn't stay. They're childish. And when you're not around, I don't care if you're having a good day or a bad day. This person t gossips about you. They also tell people that you two aren't together. That they're single or that you're single. See this karma with the five of wands? This person put you in competition. This was a karmic relationship. They put you in competition, honey, so that you would compete for them. Because they're the prize. You need to win them. There is no equal give and take. There's no justice. There is no fairness and love because this is a game this was a big karmic game the games are over okay have any last minute messages spirit we're running out of time i didn't realize my video was going to shut off Anything. No, I'm sorry, guys. I'm 